Remember one year ago when um, I signed here, Matty was a um, normal winger. He finished the best right back in this category. He's a very good boy with a big potential. So I just want to um, to say thanks to the um, Forest Academy because they are working so good. And um, to wish all the best for Matty Cash because this was is part on our business. I understood immediately uh, the desire to the players to, to play in Premier League. And uh, of course, um, what we can do. We, we do our best for, for him. He did a fantastic season last year. Um, congratulations for the two clubs for this deal and all the best for, for Matty. How do you feel about doing the Premier League, making that step? I am very optimistic with him because it, um, it was a pleasure for me to work with him. And um, it's just one year, like a right, right back. So you can just imagine how uh, it can improve. He will increase the level, of course, with um, different, different players around. Um, I'm very positive, very, very positive because he's a very good boy and a uh, big potential. Let's talk about the players that you've brought in. Um, interesting that so many of them have got a lot of proven championship experience. How important has that factor been for you in your recruitment this summer? This is just because um, um willing to learn and in one year I think I learned a lot. It was a fantastic experience. If you ask me if I am happy with this season, I can be happy with the last season. Also, even if uh, it was one of the best season from the last 10 years, but uh, um, I'm not happy at all with uh, the end, and especially the, the last month. But um, with the, in this category, we need to be consistent and we need quality and the, the, the profile we sign, they know the league, they have exactly what I want, exactly what we need. How has that last few months been for you after the, the low of that, um, the, the way the season ended, to building up now to recruitment, signing players and looking forward to a new season, how has that How's that to be honest, extremely disappointed, extremely tough. But um, we just want to. Um, it's a new chapter now, and we. I'm just looking forward. I'm very happy to be here again and to start a new season with the same project, but of course uh, with a different issue. But we need, we need, we need to, um, to build again, to work out again, to be more consistent and to learn about our mistake. Because at the end, um, was just our fault, not uh, nothing else, just our fault. And we need to control what we can control on the pitch, around the pitch, before the game, after the game. And the small details, I talk from my day one, um, can make the difference and they made the difference at the end. So, um, yeah, I just want to look forward. It's interesting you talk about how much you've learned over that year and of course you've made changes to the coaching staff as well and wanted to bring in players of proven championship experience. If you had, would it be fair to say you've had control over the changes this summer and this is kind of your build up to your season very much now, because obviously you joined late last summer, is this, is this kind of a sample that she set up now for the new season? Yeah, it's absolutely different. As you know, we stopped for more than two months, and the players after a very bad finish, they, 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 they made some holidays, so short holidays, short preparation, uh, short pre-season, um, some movement, and uh, the movement they are not finished so the beginning is important and uh, we just need to um, to build 
exactly the same team with different players, different quality, but with the same spirit at the end. Um, that's it. I'd like to ask you about Alex Miter as well, who you brought in quite a lot at the end of last season and he got a big long contract the other week as well. How much do you like him and how much do you think we might see him perhaps increasingly in the team? So for that I'm talking about the Forest um, Academy walk. They are working so good because we are talking about Kashi, but uh, Joe Worrell, Yatesy, Brandon Johnson, Alex Meaton and uh, other young, they are coming. Um, with Alex, he's um, a future talent. And to sign a future talent is just to send the right message to the players and to order. Because if we know is a talent player, the opponent, the whole team, they know that. So we are lucky to um, to work with him, and um, the trip is long for him. But um, step by step, last season, we give him sh small time to and so, small chance. Um, the idea is to give him more chance and more time to play. League Cup this week is a strange start to the season. You've only got three league games in September, but potentially four League Cup matches to prevent the build up later on. How do you feel about the way that the season started? Listen, 2020 is a strange year. Uh, so we adapt in the beginning of the season, we adapt before the COVID 19, we adapt during the lockdown, we adapt after for the restart, uh, we should adapt again. And um, I never find a reason uh, or excuse uh, about um, our mistake. So I don't want to find an excuse for the beginning of the season. So um, Saturday we have um, Carabao Cup. It's a game we go there to win. Uh, simpler than that, we know it would be a tough game, very difficult. And we know because not so long time ago we played there. And um, the beginning of the season with the, um, in September with three games um, in a week. But this is uh, the championship, uh, championship uh, schedule. Uh, we have a lot of games to play, very tough months. So if you are looking a little bit um, after November, December is so tough. If everything okay, we we have nine games to play. So we 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 need to um, to adapt to the the preseason. We need to adapt the preparation. We need adapt. We need to adapt um, the squad also to uh, to be not with a big squad. But squad enough to make the change when it's necessary to change, because we we will play a lot of games. Just finally, how, how pleasing is it to be back ahead of a new season? Here we are in person rather than doing press conference on Zoom. How happy are you to be back here? I I, I always took my responsibility, and I am exactly where I want to be. So for me, uh, the warm welcome last year was. Uh, Unbelievable, the season was um, very good for some people, fantastic for others, uh, but not the end of the season. For me, I'm not at all happy with the last month because we create something, we increase the belief in our fans, uh, we did a great performance home, away against a strong team. And at the end, the three stronger team, club with a stronger budget, they made promotion. So at the end, it's logical. But um, we 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 need to learn about what happened at the end uh, last season. And um, don't be worried about that. Um, I'm not so clever, but I'm not so stupid to understand as soon, very, very quick, what it was wrong 
and what is was uh, good. So we just want to keep uh, the, posi the positive things and to be, again, a performant from the beginning and to make our fans not happy for the beginning, but to trust about what the owner, what the club they are building with a new sign, a new message, uh, because it's simple. Forest should fight like the order for the better goal and um, the big achievement. But we need to work hard, we need to be all together uh, and to be performant. Thank you. Hi, Sabri, Phil from ITV. Can I just ask, did you sit down with the players and have a, a group chat about what went wrong at the end? You know, did you have a post-mortem yeah. examination in any sense? You know, yes, but just, just, just the, the second day uh, when we start. And uh, for three weeks, I uh, didn't call anyone because um, I don't think it was uh, good to talk about that. And um, after we we make a, a short meeting with the with the old players, but it was clear our fault. What happened the last game for you is the last game because finally uh, we played just one game under pressure and we failed. It was um, 22 July against Stoke, but in reality the last month was wrong and um, we know all of us the reason and uh, this is my responsibility to take the right decision and to be probably um, the number one in front of you to to because I'm the manager of this um, on this club but uh, um, this is my job we talk with the player, um, but now we are looking forward. Of course, it's difficult to forget that quickly. But with uh, the new sign, the, 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 the speech of um, the owner and um, his um, mentality, winner mentality, and uh, because Players want the promotion, fans want the promotion, manager want the promotion, but the owner is the first one to want the promotion. And he spent a lot of money before, probably less the last season, but he sent us a big message this, uh, this summer. And uh, um, with a little bit stability and good players, we we just need to repeat what we create the last season. The same atmosphere, the same team spirit, with more quality, with more quality players also on the bench, uh, just to be um, a little bit with numbers, to finish with the right players to achieve our goals. Uh, simpler than that. But um, to forget what happened five, six weeks ago, uh, just impossible. But football uh, is football. And unfortunately, it was extremely disappointed for a lot of people. Uh, so you can imagine us in a dressing room. But now we, we, we need to look forward. Can I ask you, you made obviously several signings. Are you looking to make any further signings? There's talk of Miguel Guerrero. Is, uh, have you got any news on that? Yeah, this, this is a, it's a one of um, possi possible signing, just because we, um, we want one more um, possibility in, uh, in attack. Because uh, the last season, one example, uh, we finished the season with the players we start the season. So we just need more talent, more um, potential killer, striker, offensive players to make the difference.
Can I ask you about Barnsley for the weekend? So they obviously just escaped relegation there. What kind of game are you expecting? Oh, exactly the same. They will not change. They they they, they won uh, the last two games, the last minutes because they they are fighter. They are absolutely um, fantastic in the in the finish. So the 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 the, the manager have done a great job. The players as well. They have a fantastic player. So tough game, tough game. But uh, cup is easy. At the end of the game is us or them. So we need to to be prepared for for that. How important is cup competitions for you this season? Because you've spoken your priority, the owner's priority, the team is, is promotion. Will the League Cup and potentially FA Cup be a distraction for you? Do you want to focus on? The Absolutely team? not. It's just to 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 play and to try to repeat what we we are working, what we are working in the, in the training, and we never play for for lose. We just want to to win, and uh, it's exactly what we we want to try on Saturday.